Um, the other thing we've heard, you know, there are a lot of drivers who, you know, work a full time or maybe a W-2 job and then do the gig economy on the side. So Faisal says, I have a question. You know, I had um, I had to apply unemployment as a private contractor, but they got it from W-2, uh, which was something I only worked for one month. How can I change it? And basically, you know, I think this specific question and other questions we've gotten have kind of been asking what, what happens if, you know, I have a regular W-2 job, um, but I'm also driving for Uber and Lyft on the side and you know that uber and lyft income has obviously been affected or reduced am i still eligible for that pua what do you think in that situation so sorry which question was this was this uh this is one that uh, i kind of came up with on my own <laughs> okay yeah i mean the the pua it's um uh, you know if you if you even get the if even if your un normal unemployment benefits are reduced yeah. right uh, you can have, you, you can, you'll still get the $600 a week, the POA, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. like, even if, uh, you know, the EDD comes back and, you know, you're making more money or something, you got, yeah. you know, and your, your benefits are reduced, you'll, you'll still get the $600 mm -hmm. a week POA, right? Even if you just get a little bit of, of the normal unemployment benefits. Interesting. Um, so, so that yeah. could, so basically like your W-2 job could reduce your normal like unemployment benefits, right? Because you're working, but the PUA yeah. is sort of like the special program that's basically giving everyone a, f a free $600 if you've been affected, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so um, I think that's pretty, uh, you know, it's, it's very generous. Um, yeah. I mean, for those and unemployment. I, yeah. And I think again, you know, it is tough because it's a state by state issue. And I think again, right, like a lot of times, like, you know, as long as you're being honest on a lot of these applications, right? And as long as you're not lying, you're not gonna, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't think anyone's gonna be coming after you, um, you know, as long as you're sort of honestly answering all of these questions and, you know, sort of like you said with the PUA, right? This is sort of a federal um, program. So, you know, the money's not even coming from the state, I think in that situation, right? Yeah, and I mean, with all these things, right? The EIDL, the PPP, the unemployment, it's, you know, make a good faith effort to, to fill out the applications accurately. Yeah. Um, and, you know, to your best knowledge and, um, you know, see what happens. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying this is right, but, you know, I know some people on the EIDL, like, they're like, you know, the number of employees, right? It was mm -hmm. kind of, kind of loosey goosey about that. But, um, you know, I, it's, it's just a lot of the oversight here isn't there. I know, I know a lot of your readers are probably, or your um, viewers are probably in California and California can be very strict with their EDD, but I know in other states that, um, you know, uh, things aren't, things aren't that way. And they're, yeah. they're even a little bit more lax and loose uh, yeah. about things right now. So, yeah. Interesting. Well, uh... one is um, you know if you are receiving unemployment uh, benefits basically whether it's PUA or you know regular unemployment insurance and you start working in the gig economy and you know making money with Instacart because you know hey you haven't got your unemployment you need money right now right which I think a lot of people are in that situation they have unemployment insurance that's due to them but they have bills due right now um, how does that affect your unemployment if you are you know making a few hundred bucks here and there yeah, so I mean, the Department of Labor came out with that guidance, you know, specifically um, for rideshare drivers. Basically, mm -hmm. said, yeah, I mean, you can be still eligible, um, you know, for the, uh, you know, the 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 unemployment, the PUA, right? Mm -hmm. um, even if you're still making money on the side as a ridesharing mm -hmm. service, right? You just, the requirements are, um, you know, you got you basically just broadly speaking, have you been affected, right? Has your ability to earn income? Been negatively affected by the crisis, mm. right? If the answer is if the answer is yes, yes, even if you're still making you know this money on the side driving for Uber or whatever, I would mm. say you know go go ahead and go ahead and apply, right? Interesting. Um, and I can put a, I can find out that um, that Department of Labor guidance and and put a link to it later in the comments. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's interesting because, I mean, I guess, you know, when you think about it generally, right, like unemployment insurance has traditionally worked where, you know, okay, if you lose your job or you lose your pay, you now have this unemployment insurance. But as you start working and as you start making money, your unemployment insurance is reduced, right? That's sort of how traditionally how unemployment insurance has worked. Is that right? And yeah. now I think, uh, you know, I, I sort of was thinking that that same concept would apply to PUA, but it sounds like since we're in sort of unique times and unique situation, um, that that's maybe not the case. I mean, you, you, a lot of states, and this is a state by state thing, but they're waiving mm -hmm. some of their traditional, you know, mm. unemployment requirements. You know, yeah. like um, the big thing right now is, you know, okay, well, you know, going back to work, right? Or do I have to look for work, right? Yeah. 
And a lot of states are, you know, because of what's going on, have waived right. that requirement. So that like we said, waived. Yeah. So in some states, yeah. So um, like you said, these are kind of unique times. So some of those kind of rules, those hard and fast rules mm -hmm. that we thought about when we used to talk about and think about unemployment, um, they're a little looser right now, you know? So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would so that's say interesting. I mean, I, I guess I think to, this is a little complex. So just to sum it up, right? If I'm an Uber or Lyft driver um, right now and, uh, you know, I kind of want to go out and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm applying for unemployment in PUA, obviously, but let's say I, I decide to go switch over to Instacart and make some money right now or Postmates and DoorDash. Um, that money can basically be kind of be on top of whatever I'm getting from the PUA in the future. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's clear that you can still do these ride shares and, you know, collect the, the, the unemployment if you were adversely affected by the current crisis. And, you know, broad, thinking broadly, pretty much everyone is right, you know, who hasn't been adversely yeah. affected by this, right, this has really affected our, our, our lives uh, significantly. So, um, you know, with, with unemployment, um, you know, if you've been negatively affected economically in terms of your ability to earn income, I mean, yeah. just you should apply and let the state tell you no. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So okay. So.